hey guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we're going to be seeing the first part of the making of this beautiful top so the first part is that we're going to be drafting the pattern as you can see i've already drafted out the basic bodies if you do not know how to do this please check out my previous videos i've already shared so many videos on the channel where we worked on basic bodies so as you can see this is the chest line this is the bust line this is the under bust line here we have the waistline and then this is our hemline which is the full length of our top so now the next thing i want to go ahead and do is i want to share with you guys how to draft this corset but i'll be using a different pattern that doesn't require us to draw a circle around all the other corset patterns that i've drafted in the past we've used circle so today's we are not going to be drafting a circle around so as you can see the first thing i went ahead to do was to divide my shoulder measurement into two equal halves and after doing that i'm just going to connect that to meet the bust point here with a straight line so guys the next thing we're going to do is that from this bust point here we're going to measure down to our under bust line and what i have there is three inches normally i'll create a circle with that three inches from the bust line but what we're going to do here today is from this bust line we'll go up with that three inches on the line we created towards the shoulder line which is what you see me doing like this and i'm just making a small arc ensuring that i have that three inches measurement i'm just using my tape to create a small arc with the three inches measurement ensure that your tape is on the bust line and ensure that you are making your arc on top of the line that you made towards the shoulder so this is what i have here now we don't need to draw a whole circle around which a lot of people actually find hard or coming out of the circle or just have so many issues with so now the next thing we want to go ahead and do is to start marking out our darts so now guys the next thing i want to do is from the under bust from the ends of our dart legs i'm coming out by half an inch on both sides so when you've done that don't go slant like this go, just make sure that your ruler is straight you are going to draw a straight line all the way to the hemline and you're going to do the same thing for the other side as well so now the next thing you want to do is from this point here you're going to connect to the top of our dart just like you see me doing like this connect a curve using your curve rule if you don't have a curve rule use your free hand and you're going to repeat the same thing for the other side as well so now connect this point to the bust line just like you see me doing like this and after doing this the next thing we want to do is to come to the under bust line here and we're going to take the measurements we have in between and you saw me do that and i had one and a half inch so these dotted lines i made at the top i'm going to come here and i'm going to be giving half an inch to the part going towards the middle of our top and then the part going towards the armhole which is the other side of the line i'm going to be giving one inch to this part so this is just the major thing we need these dotted lines for so now from the point i just made i'm going to connect a curve as you can see i'm using my curve drill to meet the bust point and i'll do the same thing for the other side as well so now the next thing we want to do is from these lines we have at the top i'm going out by quarter of an inch on the both lines and i'm just going to use my curve drill again to connect these two lines to meet the bust point and when you're true with that just go ahead and mark the other lines that you had before just to show that you are no longer going to be using those lines so now for the separation between our two cups this is our chest line right you can decide to maintain this chest line or you can go up or below the chest line depending on how much cleavage you are willing to show for this tutorial i'm maintaining the chest line and as you can see i just came out by half of an inch and i made a small line to connect the point i got from that and from that point i'm connecting to the top of my arc that we made earlier just like you see me doing like this and then from this point again i'm going to connect down to my under bust line if you don't understand what i'm trying to explain forget about what i'm saying and just see what i just did in the video so after doing that on one side you can see one part of the cup is ready now we're going to do the other side so the small arc we have here from our armhole area here i'm going to divide what i have here into two equal halves and then come down by half of an inch so as you see after doing that from that half inch point connect towards the side with a straight line so now from this point we are going to make a curve 
to meet the top of the arc just like we did on the other side as well so after doing this i'm just going to connect a point from here down to the underbust using my curved rule so now it's time to add in our body measurements so on this chest line here what you're going to do is divide your bust measurement by four and you're going to make a mark there then you're going to measure the dart intake you have on your darts in between this place and what i have there was one and a half inch so i marked it here and now after marking that i'll add extra one and a half inch for stitching allowance so after doing that the next thing i want to do is to come to the waistline i do this a lot on the channel a lot of you should be used to it by now so i'll divide my waist measurement by four i marked it there and then i measured my dart and i'm replacing it and then i'll add another one and a half inch for stitching allowance and at the end of the top as well which is the hemline my hip measurement divided by four and today we have a dart here so i'm replacing my dart as well and then i'll add an extra one and a half inch for stitching allowance like we always do and now i'm just going to connect the last points to give me my curve so now i'm going to also connect the end of the stop with my marker so guys basically we are done with this front part so this is one and two this is the direction they are going and now we are just going to go ahead and cut this piece out so guys that's all for the front part of this particular pattern so this is how i'm going to go ahead and join the two front pieces to just join the that so that i'll go ahead and cut this on my actual fabric as a one piece instead of two pieces so let's go ahead and use this to cut out the back piece so guys this is the piece i'm going to be using to cut out the back pattern and i'm just going to be using the front to trace this out so first of all i'm marking a one inch from the middle of this pattern paper as you see me doing like this you can mark one and a half inch depending on how much zipper allowance you want to leave so i'm going to connect this line now with a ruler to get our zipper allowance so guys this is the zipper allowance here now i'm going to place the front piece on this line here and as you can see i've already gone ahead to join the two pieces together to make it a one piece like i said i was going to do earlier and as you can see i'm just arranging this front piece right on the line that i made earlier and i'm just basically tracing out every other part i've traced out the side and from this center here i want to go down a little bit at the back piece i don't want it to be as high as it is in front so i just made a point a little bit below the top of the front piece and i'm just going to use my ruler to connect this side as well so this is going to be the back so this is an easy way for you to just quickly get your back pattern using the front piece so guys this is it remember that this is our zipper allowance i want to have zip at the back of this top so now the next thing i'll just go ahead and do is to come in from this center point here this place where we have our arc remember that this part where we have our arc is our waistline so to avoid bulginess at the back of our top by the time i wear it i came in by half of an inch so as you can see from that half of an inch point i'm just connecting it up and down with a slant and this is the back pattern now i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out so guys these are the two pieces we are going to be using to make this beautiful top and you will notice that in this particular top that there is an arc on the side and there is a caged peplum so we will, we will need to cut out this arc on the side of our pattern like this so i'm just going to be using my free hand for this so it's going to start from the waistline and we're going to determine how wide we want it to be in the middle so from this waistline i'll go ahead and create a curve to meet the end of the top so guys from the middle of the front piece here i'm going to come in by one inch so i came in by one inch here and then from this waist we are just going to make a curve like this to meet that point so if you have a curve that can do that go ahead and use it i realized that my curved rule cannot do that for me perfectly so i decided to use my free hand So now we'll just go ahead and cut this out. 
so guys this is the pattern we're going to be using to make this top so this is all for today's video which is part one of this particular tutorial in my next video i'll be sharing with you guys how to sew it together so please guys if you're here to subscribe please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out when i post the remaining part of this video which is going to be the sewing part thank you so much for watching